I was uh, reading about you, you know, trying to do my research a little bit, I try. Um, and I saw that you were diagnosed with, uh, how do you even pronounce that? The disease, uh, I call it. It's called aclasia. So your esophagus is like almost, it's fighting against itself, like the, the nerve endings. When you're eating and stuff, it's like the nerves are pushing it down. So like when they start deteriorating, it stops going all the way down. It like gets stuck and like all kinds of complications and things like that. And then you said that had a pretty big impact on your music career. Yeah, man. When you have like something like that going on serious in your body, you just start thinking about life different. Aclasia is pretty rare. So it's like, it's not like you won't really know a lot of people with it, it's kind of rare. So in my head, I didn't know what it was. I thought I was like, like I thought I was literally dying low key. So in my head, I'm like, what do I need to do on this earth? If this is like, you know what I mean? Like if this is my moment in time, I just start opening my heart and my mind to possibilities of, okay, being an artist is something that everyone's always told me that I should do. And I always said no. Yeah. But the reason why I said no is because I guess I was afraid to be like out there in the public and for like people to constant for you to constantly be judged. Yeah. So I was thinking negatively, you know, but then I, I flipped it and I said, you know, I don't care what people think. I just want whoever likes my music, I want them to hear it, fall in love with it, and you know, leave my mark on on, on earth.